Just a robot. After this video, I want to take a break from talking about reaction channels. But before I take the break, we're going to talk about THE reaction channel. This is not just any reactionist. This is the Queen Bee. If Tyro Magnus and Rasha the Reactor did the fusion dance from Dragon Ball Z, Jinx would be the result. You would think him being the Queen Bee would make his arguments stronger. But unfortunately, they're weak as all the others. Today I'm doing a commentary on the re-uploaded video of Jinx's response to Grady Underay. Jinx took the original down, probably because of all the dislikes, but it was re-uploaded by this guy. If you enjoy this commentary, please give this guy a big thanks, because without him re-uploading it, this video would have probably never happened. But enough chit-chat, it's time to debunk Jinx's video. So now it's time to address the hate comments. I mean, not the hate comments, the hate videos, hate comments, all that, it's all the same thing. And the most recent one was the one y'all all... Uh, asking me to react to and all that stuff. I'm not going to react to it because reacting is just free promotion. It's free promotion for you. Yes, reaction channels can give smaller channels promotion, but all the channels you react to are big channels. They don't need promotion. And big channels, like PewDiePie, have stated their disgust with reaction channels. They really don't want the quote-unquote free promotion. Is that how you sleep at night? You tell yourself you're just giving people promotion. If that is true, why don't you give it to Grade A Under A? He gave it to you, so why can't you return the favor? Now, first thing I want to say before I even start going down this list is the fact that uh, this guy hates me because I'm popular. Jinx, that is completely untrue, and you know it. He gave several reasons why he doesn't like you. If he didn't like you just because you were popular, then why doesn't he hate on PewDiePie and other big channels? It doesn't add up, and you know it. Also, I love your, you're just jealous argument. Never heard that one before. There are thousands of reaction channels out there that do more or less of what I do. And the only one he decided to call out was me and my brother. Why? Because I'm the most popular and I guess he called out my brother because he's my brother. He called out you and your brother because you're both unbearable and annoying. You're kind of everything wrong with reaction channels all wrapped up into one tiny little present. So first thing he went on to say is that uh, reaction channels, all you do is sit there, be quiet, sometimes give a little giggle, give a little gesture, which I do on my ERBs. Um, first of all, he he, and uh, the thing is, he would find a really small clip of when nothing major is going on. So you don't like, no one really has a reaction. You're just watching to see what's gonna happen. He would grab something like that to make it look like every single video the whole video you're just sitting there like this that's not true if you watch my videos you would know some videos get crazy and i get crazy right along with them okay you reaction channels keep saying people pick and choose the parts where you're doing nothing and just staring at the screen but the thing is people don't search that hard to find them they're in pretty much every single reaction video the fact that you have them in any video says something just edit them out it's not that hard. Next thing he says is that people are not watching my reaction. They are only watching the video that I'm watching. That makes absolutely no sense. Like, why would you click on a video that clearly says reaction just to watch the original video when you could just go and watch the original video? It does make sense, Jinx. One, if what you were saying is true, then you wouldn't have to put the video in the bottom corner of the screen. Second, people watch reaction channels because they watch everything that's relevant, and they're too lazy to find the relevant videos themselves. And also, if people only came to watch the video that I'm watching, the original video, why the fuck would one million people subscribe? For the same reason so many people go to see Adam Sandler in Twilight movies. It's because people are idiots. So apparently he has a problem with when I make an awkward face at something because it's awkward or if I'm just bobbing to the music because nothing extreme is going on. Like, it's it can be a simple song that you would just... That anybody would just nod their head to. I guess he expects me to, like, jump all over my bed or something like I'm crazy. But the problem there is I'm not... 
I'm not the type to overreact. If you're not the type of person to overreact, then why are you making reaction videos? It would be like a chef saying, I'm not the type of person who likes to cook. Then he goes on to say that we are stealing videos and stealing content. Okay, let me let me just put this out there like this, simple as possible. There are thousands of channels that literally take the video, re-upload it. Nothing. Nothing. Don't put their face in it or nothing. Just take the video, upload it. You're on my case though? Really? The thing is, Jinx, they don't do it as much as you do. Second, sometimes the reaction video gets more views than the actual video. And people who re-upload others' content also get a lot of hate. Sometimes they don't. Like, for example, the guy who re-uploaded your video, the one I'm commentating on right now, did it not to get fame or anything, but so we can all point and laugh at you. Not to mention, if anybody, YouTubers, music, shows from TV, anybody that has a video online can claim that video on YouTube. There are plenty of people that have claimed my videos. What did I do? Nothing. You're right. It's your video. They are getting paid of my channel. Jinx, most of them don't get their money, and you're just doing it so some of their fame can rub off on you. Let me play this clip from Grade A Under A's video. You would think that once I put in a third party claim on YouTube, I'll get paid all the money it generated, right? Wrong! I only start getting paid for all the views the video gets after I put a claim in and after it gets approved. So all the views that Tyrone got off my video before I realized he had stolen my video, even though his use of my entire unedited video goes against copyright laws and fair use, and even though I would have never given him permission to do so, according to YouTube, he gets to keep! And you know, he went on to make a little clip about how he thinks it is. He thinks it's just, uh, re uh, record your reaction and drag it over, click. And that's, that's it, it's done. No, that's not true. Because if you watch my earlier videos when I first started reaction, you will hear how bad the sound is. That probably has to do with your microphone or how you're setting up your microphone. Either way, it's not that hard at all. It's pretty fucking easy to make a reaction video. This guy proved it to you. And uh, he took a video clip where I basically said that uh, doing reaction videos gives other people a chance to watch videos with each other. He said that's absurd and his reason was he said that I'm saying all of my fans and all of my subscribers are lonely people and stuff like that. But when you think about it, who hasn't watched the video, gave their phone to their friend like, yo, you should watch this and looked at them watching? No, Jinx, you can't be serious. I bet he has. There you go, reactions. Oh my god, you are! You're seriously this stupid! Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, just a robot, calm down, calm down, take a deep breath in. Oh, oh no, wait, I can't do that, I have no lungs. Oh my baby, hello my honey, hello my ragtime gal. Send me a kiss by wire, baby my heart's on fire. If you refuse me, honey, you lose me, then you'll be left alone, oh baby, telephone, and tell me I'm your own. Okay, I have calmed down now. Jinx. When Grady Andre says that you say your audience is made up of friendless loners, he's not saying that if someone watches a video with someone else, they're lonely. He's saying if someone has to watch someone on YouTube to get the experience of watching a video with someone else, then they're a friendless loner. If you have a friend to watch a video with, then you have friends. If you don't, and you have to get the experience of that, then you're a friendless loner. Do you understand, Jinx? Or are you just too stupid to understand? Then he goes on to the PewDiePie situation where PewDiePie basically said that he, did, he didn't really like uh, reaction videos. And then I responded like, yo, I thought reaction videos were free promotion. And then in that same video, I was like, yo, I don't, I'm not subscribed to PewDiePie because he's easy to find. That's because I know him. Holy shit. So you're saying that you know who the number one person on YouTube is. Oh my god. We're looking at the new Christopher Columbus right here. Next, you're going to tell me who's on the $1 bill. 
Because I sure don't know. Just last year? Late last year, I had no clue who PewDiePie was. Then you must have been living under a rock. So I'm living proof that not everybody, every single person that gets on YouTube knows who PewDiePie is. Even though he's the most popular, a lot of people still don't know who PewDiePie is. Never mind, you're just an idiot. What Grade A Under A is getting at is that the person you chose to promote is the number one YouTuber. It would be like a charity organization giving money to the richest man in the world. And then when someone calls them out on it, they say, well, yeah, he's rich, but he doesn't have all the money in the world. Another thing about that is, uh, watch the, um, I think it was Teens React to PewDiePie or something like that. Watch that. A couple of them didn't know he was. One of them was like, well, I saw his pictures, but I never clicked on him. Boom. <laughs> That's promotion, man. Yeah, but they don't claim they're giving free promotion. And your defense for not knowing who PewDiePie was is that a few teenagers didn't know who he was. So you, a grown man, is comparing your knowledge to teenagers. Enough said. Then he goes on to say how I... Wait, he said I lied about saying I was partnered with YouTube. That wasn't a lie. I was partnered with YouTube. All right, then. Prove it. So Jinx shows off what may or may not be proof. Honestly, I don't know if it is or not. I don't know enough about the YouTube partner system to know. But just to be nice, I'm going to say he's telling the truth. I don't even know why someone would lie about being partnered. And of course, he went on the usual rant of how I'm so untalented how I can't do anything but reactions, but he did not mention my Jinx Reload channel. I wonder why. He just probably didn't know about it. But let's have a look at your Jinx Reload channel. So most of his videos are vlogs, and some of his videos are called In The Hood videos. They're kind of like shitty abridged series, and he has a few top 10 lists, but there's really not much talent here. But for the sake of argument, let's just say Jinx has a lot of talent. Okay, so what? He's not using it, therefore he might as well be talentless. Having a talent and not using it is even worse than being talentless. You're just not gonna, you're just not gonna, I mean, you already promoting me, you already, you know, putting my name out there, so why don't you just go ahead and tell him about my second channel too? Because I'm so untalented. Okay, I really don't like to use the term attention whore, but if you like any kind of attention, whether it's positive or negative, you are an attention whore. All the shit I've done just <laughs> don't matter just because I've done some reactions. It's just everything else doesn't matter because you did reactions. Yeah. If because I mean if that's the if that's the case, I'm just saying if that's the case. People that went to the React series and stuff and did the YouTubers react and stuff, you might as well just put out all the stuff that they did too because they reacted to some stuff. You know what I mean? If you go. Here's the thing they only react to a couple of videos. Most of your videos are reaction videos. You upload four or five a day, or at least you used to. But anyway, and then he goes on with the how, how gay my brother. <laughs> My brother has his girlfriend in his videos, like, so gay, right? Okay, I just want to say this. Why does everybody treat the word gay so literally? When someone calls you lame, you don't retort with, Hey, I can walk. I'm not lame. Or when someone calls you dumb, you don't say, Hey, I don't have trouble talking. I don't know. This thing just always bugged me. So Jinx repeats a point I already countered. But then he goes on to say this. You talk, you talking a lot of stuff too. I'm gay, I'm a bitch, I'm a dick, I'm a twat and all that, bro. You got that much hate, yo, come see me, man. I live in Vegas. Really, Jinx? You're challenging him to a fight? Interesting. Well, if you ever want to challenge me, I'm game. I always wanted to visit Vegas. I just hope you still live there. We can settle it like grown-ass men. Indeed, Jinx. We can settle this like man and robot. All I ask is that you give me three months to prepare, and you private message me the location. And I noticed that on your channel, pretty much all your videos are about everything that you hate. So basically, you just hate everything. You just want to make videos about everything, because you hate everything. Look, man, you need some pussy.
Oh boy, he needs to get some pussy. I've never heard that one before. What is it with you beta males and pussy anyways? Fuck you, bro. And that goes for you and anybody else that agrees with you. I just put the facts out. See, you thought you had facts, but you lied. And you know you lied. Really? Because it was pretty easy to prove him right. <laughs> so fuck you and anybody that agrees with you. I don't really give a fuck about none of y'all. All of y'all can fuck off. It's funny that you say that and then delete the video. I am so glad that Jinx is no longer doing reaction videos. One down, so many to go. By the way, Grade A Under A did actually respond to this video in a text post. You can pause and read it right here, or you can click on the link down below. By the way, one of my subscribers told me about this guy called That's O Jack, who does reaction videos. And, believe it or not, they have talent. He actually gives good reactions and doesn't show the entire video, or any of the video for that matter. If more reaction channels were like this guy, then I don't think people would have a problem with them. Reactionist, we're not asking for that much. All we're asking for is that you edit out the long pauses where you're just sitting there making the exact same face for several seconds to several minutes. Or is that just too much work for you guys?